Good afternoon, and thank you for watching the Student Athlete Playbook segment of 100 Yards of Sports. Listen, we are out here at Mays High School. I am Barry Brown, and I'm a native of Southwest Atlanta. It's right around the corner. I went to Southwest Middle School. If I would have stayed in the city, I probably would have went to Mays. <laughs> so all my friends went here, got family members that went here, so I'm excited to be out here on location today shooting this segment, and I'm with my man, Coach Resty. Beatles, the offensive line coach at Mays High School. How you doing today, brother? Pretty good, sir. How you doing? How you doing? It's great <laughs> to be here. Glad to finally hook this up with you, sir. We've been trying to do this for some time now. That's so I'm right. pleased and uh, thankful you guys to come out. Hey, thank you, brother. So listen, Mays High School, these last couple of years, they're sending a lot of young men to college. The academic side of the school is off the chain. Shout out to my man, Mr. Bobo Beasley, the academic career <laughs> counselor out here at the school. He's a, a PC grad. I got my PC visor on today, so shout out to the Blue Holes. But let's get right into this maze football. Now, Resty, I know you play college football at a very high level, yes, sir. but I want to take a step back first. High school, can you tell our listeners about high school? What, what, what was your experience in high school that allowed you to earn a Division One scholarship. Can you share that with our listeners? Sure, sure, sure. Um, in high school, uh, I just uh, embraced the, uh, the grind and trusted the process. Uh, I was one of the top 25 in my class. My mom stressed A's and B's. I couldn't come home with a C. Back then, there was no pass, no play, I believe. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the status quo was... 700 2.0 for the GPA, so that was that was pretty reasonable back then. But um, I was uh, highly recruited as a sophomore, and um, by everyone in the country. And uh, Georgia came along at the end, and uh, I changed my mind, and I decided to go to go to the University of Georgia. I was one of the top linemen coming out of the state of Georgia in 1993. Went on to play in the Georgia Florida game, and then also I went matriculated to the University of Georgia. Awesome, man! Awesome. So now, who who are some of the players? So because I talk to the young players, and, you know, they emulate people. Right. And I know you played with some big-time players at the right, University right, right. of Georgia. Right, right, right. That some of these kids know. Some of them don't know. Uh, one of my best friends played at the University of Georgia, right. Andre Hastings. Right. Uh, we're, we're a little bit older than y'all. Right. Not, not that yeah. much, but a little yeah, bit. They don't know who Andre Hastings is. <laughs> yeah, right. you got to come with somebody <laughs> right. current. So, exactly. So tell me some of the players that played in your class and, and played while you were at Georgia. Some of the players in my class were uh, that, that stood out. Uh, Juan Daniels, Corey Johnson, Corey Allen, Heinz Ward, Robert Edwards, uh, Mike Bobo, um, Jason Ferguson, Jermaine Smith. You know, oh, those yeah. are some of the guys that uh, went on and did well. They were great standouts at, at the University of Georgia, and they went on to play well in the NFL. Awesome, man. So now, playing with all those players, now I, I met you while you've been coaching. Right. What are some of the things from high school to college – that now as the offensive line coach here at Mays High School, that you pour into your alignment to help them get better and help them accomplish their goals? Well, uh, as you know, I train offensive linemen, and what we do is we just we stress skill set. It's almost like I'm the tutor for offensive linemen. You know, you have tutors for social studies and math when kids are struggling or they need to perform, you know, on assessments or whatever. Well, I, I stress that when it comes down to the offensive linemen, coordinating the feet and the hands, being a dominant player at the point of attack, yes. you know, uh, being able to sustain blocks, uh, being an avid and a, and, a, and a violent pass blocker because, <laughs> right. you know, the game has changed. So from just three yards in a cloud of dust and running the ball to more people, are, you know, in the pistol or the power set, you right. know, out of the gun. So I stress skill set, you know, being able to bend, you know, that's what <laughs> that's the guys right. are looking for. Looking that's for the right. violent hands, the long arms, the quick feet, the linemen that being able to run. So uh, that's what I do. I, j I just stress the skill set when it comes down to the offensive line. Awesome. Awesome. Offensive linemen, parents, little league coaches, did y'all hear that? Skill set. Your children, your student athletes have to develop their skills to compete at the high school level and most definitely at the high school, at, at the college level, I mean. So now, Resty. Now, we know the athletic part. We out here on the field. We're watching the young men work out. Right. How important is the character of a young man and even a young lady that may be on your football team. How important is that character in them to know, to make the right decisions, not only on the field, but off the field when they're off in the community? 
Uh, it's, it's funny that you say that because character is the number one measurement today or the one, number one assessment that most colleges use, you know, through uh, social media, through, you know, just discipline records, or, right. you know, just how students are perceived in the community, whether they're involved in church or they're doing any kind of community service. So the, a lot of the uh, scholarship uh, attainment or, you know, <laughs> right. whatever comes through character, not only just academic, but character plays a big role in that. And I have a saying that I used to say, a lot of the kids, they still know it, well, I used to tell them just to stay lame. And that's just uh, a mindset, you know, <laughs> like just staying, staying humble, humility before honor, you know, it's keeping God first, making good decisions and building healthy relationships. And that's just like a little formula that they can follow, you know, a lot of kids, so, you know, you know, out here and they just so involved in social media and they, they're yeah. so involved in trying to be groupies and, right you that. know, and just all in it for the likes and the status quo, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But, you know, you have to learn how to just focus on self and love self. That mm -hmm. way you can build yourself up to, you know, be able to give the best you later on in life. Man, I love it. Parents, again, student athletes watching this, little league coaches watching this, you just heard them. Character, number one number one thing college coaches are looking at and if you looked at this last signing period and you'll see it coming up here in december you'll see coaches saying i'm looking for players i'm looking for student athletes that have good character and that's what we do with the student athlete playbook and the student athlete achievement program youth education and sports bottom line now Rusty, i know you got some outstanding linemen any yeah. guys you want to bring over right quick so uh, as we finish the segment <laughs> let's see if i can bring over uh kelvin <laughs> now, just what I like about this, he didn't have to tell them to hustle. They jived over here just when he called his name. Anything else <laughs> <you're civilized. laughs> That's what I love it. I love it. I've been doing it 20 years. Take off your helmet right quick, fellas. Take off your helmet. These are two hey, look at these strong young men. These, these, Rest are, these are two of my supreme fatnesses. <laughs> yeah, this is Kelvin. This is uh, Asbury. Uh, they're both seniors. This is uh, my right tackle and my left tackle. Uh, introduce yourself, sir. How you doing? Uh, Kevin Dennis, left tackle. Oh, Kevin Dennis, left tackle. <laughs> hey, uh, Aquavia Asbury, left tackle. I mean, I'm talking about left tackle. Right tackle. <laughs> so now, gentlemen, real quick, I know y'all got to get back to practice. What's the most exciting thing that y'all like about playing for Mays High School? What's the most exciting thing? Well, I've been here all four years, so, you know, Everything really been assigned to me, but like you know, just, uh, coming together as a team, you know, getting job done. That's all. Really. Uh, well, I'm a transfer. I, uh, I transfer in uh, ninth grade, so I just like the intensity of how we um come together as a team, and we come all the way together and play strong. And win state. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Winning attitudes, positive attitudes. And they're not afraid to smile. Most most young people we talk, they don't even want to smile. So I like that, fellas. I really do. Now, last thing. Last thing. What's your goals? What's your goals for this season and as you move on to the next the next phase of your life after you get out of high school? I only got two goals. is to win state and to get a D1 scholarship. That's right. it. Excellent. Well, <clears throat> my only goal this season because, man, I mean, we've been working hard, so I just feel like all we got to do is just win state. That's the last thing I want to do coming out of high school. Okay. Excellent. Hey, fellas, I appreciate you, man. Good luck to y'all. I like the way y'all bounce back. The last two games y'all done had shutouts. So, hey, good luck against Tri-Cities coming up next, man. Yes, sir. All right, fellas. <laughs> So, Reggie, get back in here. We yes, close sir. this segment up. Yes, so, listen, Mays High School, Southwest Atlanta. So, you hear a lot of different things about Southwest Atlanta, but we're here with the cream of the crop. We're here with the young men, the coaches that lead these young men to greatness. And, hey, it's all good. So, we talk about positive youth. We talk about positive adults. And we continue to build our community, hey, one brick at a time, baby. So, Reggie. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate, appreciate you. And I value. Hey, thank, thank you, man. Do, man. Thank you it's very all about much. That student playbook, baby. <laughs> yes, all right. sir. Take care. Hey, thank you all for watching the student athlete playbook segment, and we'll be right back with Coach Battles, Mays High School's head football coach. <laughs>